different backgrounds and scenery. Keep things interesting. So getting out and about with your camera is important. Now, a couple of other things is don't shoot for content. Shoot for learning. Take your camera with you and get used to the environments that you're surrounded by. How do you deal with road noise? How do you deal with wind noise? How do you deal with an echoey cathedral? The, th the buildings around you and the environment around you give you lots of opportunity to get familiar with your camera. Why is it so important? Answer is, when you do come to film the stuff that you want to do, if you don't set it up right, you could end up just scrapping it. Um, you could have a lot of wind noise there where you just go, that's useless, start again. Or you could have it where you're too close to the motorway and you've got that constant flow of traffic that's going over the top of your audio. So get used to your limitations on your camera. Get to understand what you can do with it. Because the familiarity of your equipment is extremely important. It's more important than buying new equipment. New equipment does not make you a great camera person. It doesn't make you fantastic with uh, production. All it does is give you a new camera in some hands with unfamiliar abilities to that camera uh, or audio. So the best thing to do is actually, instead of investing in new equipment, get used to what you've got. Do it in different environments. Go with the beach, go with, you know, Whatever is near you, so you can get used to the different sounds and effects. And then when you start producing things, you, you know, if you want to go to the farmer's market and discuss the farmer's market, you will know the limitations on your camera. You will know that I can't be too close to too much audio. How do I turn my own audio up? Do I need to record my audio separate? These things are how you get good at it. You know, this is gets you in good production. And it's, this is what I'm saying about getting used to your camera equipment. And the good locations or different locations keeps your channel alive, keeps people interested because you're always up to something new. You've got a bit of variation going on in there. I know I spend far too much time in this little room, um, but there's a reason for that. It's two kids. <laughs> two kids and running around the, for the school run, being the only driver in the house. So I'm stuck. There's... There's loads of places I want a video, but for me to do it, I literally have to set a day and go on my own and produce. Um, but I'm going to see if I can work something out on that. From my point of view, you know, I'm going to get somebody else to come with me. Um, but that's another story. Thanks for watching. Yeah.